welcome to the world of mathematics the topic that we uh, i like to discuss with you is the uh, is the cost of lu decomposition okay so in the previous video i have uh, describes the method uh, the process to find lu decomposition so in this uh, uh, in this tutorial i am going to uh, tell you uh, uh, i am going to uh, find the cost of lu decomposition right first of all remember that in the in the first row we need to we need to make this entry uh, what we need to make this entry zero so oh sorry we need to make this leading element one one so what do i need to do i need to multiply its multiplicative inverse so i multiply one upon a one one and making sure a one one is not zero with r1 and again i get new row that is r1 okay and let me write a11 not 0 okay then so you you focus here how many uh, how many multiplications which is a uh, 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 which is a we use a word multiplication divisions as a multiplications right we lump multiplication divisions as a one word as a multiplications. And similarly, we lump uh, addition and subtraction as a one word uh, additions. Okay. So how many multiplications or simply you can say division we need we needed here to divide this. So you can easily uh, uh, look at here. We needed n minus one multiplications because the, uh, uh, this is the first row. Okay, because uh, the element divided by itself, computer knows that uh, I have to type here one, but it has to divide all the other elements by a one one. Okay, so that we needed n minus one multiplications to change these entries or to dividing dividing by these entries by a one one. Okay, so after that we come on the next thing that is i need to make these all the element below one as a zero okay so but the remember because i have divided i have divided by a one one so that i have it in here a one one okay so this one you should uh, focus and if you uh, get confused then go to the previous video and and watch it first Okay, so after doing this, I need to make this uh, 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 column zero. So uh, let's focus only this entry first. Uh, to make this entry as a zero, <coughs> sorry, to make this entry a two one as a zero, I need to multiply negative two one with row one. Then I need to add with r two. The result would be the new r two. Okay. So think about it. How many multiplications did we uh, uh, do we use? Uh, did we use here? So we used here n minus one multiplications. Why? Because when we multiplied uh, a, uh, a negative a two one with r one, so we multiplied this element by this one, and then this one all its elements because all these elements were n minus 1 so we needed n minus 1 multiplications okay when we multiplied these elements with this then we had to add corresponding elements because these elements were n minus 1 that's why we needed n minus 1 additions okay so that we needed n minus 1 multiplications and n minus 1 additions therefore when we add these two we got 2 times n minus 1 after that but the c how many rows are there we we don't need to just um, uh, apply this rule up to uh, only this uh, row okay but we need to apply on every row okay on every row we have to apply the same procedure so how many rows are there there are n minus 1 rows because uh, with the first row we multiply then add with the corresponding rows so there are n minus 1 rows okay so and, and, and to make one 
uh, and to make a, a, a zero below the first diagonal we need the operation two time n minus one okay so there are uh, because there are n minus one rows therefore we need to multiply n minus one because it n minus one times we need to repeat the two time n minus one operation right so it would be total two times n minus one okay so total would be what so if, if you if if you do these two things it means number one making making this element diagonal element one one we need n minus one multiplications and second thing to 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 make these all the elements zero how many uh, uh, operation do we needed we needed uh, uh, two time n minus one uh, uh, two time n minus one whole square uh, 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 operations or flops if you combine these two so total you will need to make this guy that mean the first leading as a one and it's below diagonal should be zero you uh, you need it n minus one and plus two times n minus two okay because we were making these uh, elements as a, a zero that's why we are putting their corresponding additive inverses here right after that what do we need to do uh, we need to make this element as a what we need to make this element as a one one okay so we need to divide this one because it uh, it has reduced one element so uh, uh, there are n minus 2 only multiplication that we needed to uh, use here so the cost of uh, these uh, multiplication would be n minus 1 multiplication and similar procedure procedure is there we need to make we need to make these elements below the uh, this uh, diagonal a22 we need to make all the elements zero because uh, uh, what do we need to do for example uh, i need to make this element a321 this element zero so i need to multiply a negative a32 with r2 then add with r3 result would be r3 okay so hence how many multiplications do we need here only here to make r3 zero we need n minus 2 multiplication and because after multiplying we need to add with every element okay so we will need n minus 1 addition as there are n minus 1 rows so the total number of flops that we need to make uh, this whole full matrix that means this full column zero below the second uh, leading diagonal would be what that would be n minus two times n minus two addition plus n minus two subtraction so uh, n minus two uh, multiplication n minus two addition so total would be two times n minus two whole square now from combining these two that means which two this one means making uh, the diagonal element a2 to 1 and then to to make its below element 0 0 how many element how many operation do we need we need n minus 2 and plus 2 times n minus 2 whole square right from the above we can uh, we can see the pattern okay uh, what is the pattern? Pattern is that. Pattern is that. Uh, 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 so uh, if we see, uh, we get this pattern that in first we get n minus one and two times n minus one, uh, two times n minus one whole square, and second element is n minus two and two times n minus two whole square, and third element would be n minus three and two times n minus three whole square, and all the way up to the two into 2 times 2 square and 1 and 2 times 1 square right so in this way if we rearrange these term it would be uh, n minus 1 into n minus 2 plus so on up to the 3 to 1 and similarly 2 times if we take 2 common it would be n minus 1 whole square n minus 2 whole square all the way up to the 2 square and 1 square okay i uh, i think it's uh, uh, going to finish my video time so we may continue next 
video